following is a TTC Uncle Lou News special report. Uh, good morning, Uncle Lou here. Uh, thanks for watching this special edition of Uncle Lou's TTC News with very special guest, uh, Jay Hutch. Say hello, Jay Hutch. What is up, world? World of YouTube? What's up, puppets? Uh, that's right. Uh, very first live interview here uh, for Uncle Lou's TTC News. Now, Hutch, there's a question that I've had for a while, and I'm sure other people have had this question, too. Now, of course, all your videos are amazing. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, yes, there's yes, not, there's, yes. Yeah, there, there's there's not even really any any debate uh, on that. Uh, but what people really want to know, sir, will you be making TTC videos uh, during football season? Yes or no? Um, if you're just asking for a yes or no, I would have to say no. If you want a reason, I could give you one. Yeah, well, uh, you can do that. That's fine. What's the reason, sir? All right. Well, the reason I probably won't be doing it is because I've never actually been too big on watching football. I, I never really watch TV. I, I Usually I watch Netflix. And uh, so I don't really have a team. I don't, you know, I don't want to just come in bandwagoning because, you know, how that goes. Yeah, they so that's probably why I wouldn't be. That, that makes sense. So how how did you become such a beast trash talker? Uh, most people in the TTC have been trash talking their whole lives because they're football fans. So, sir, uh, how is it that you became so good at your craft? Well, uh, you see, uh, unlike a lot of these people, you know, on YouTube, like the REGs and the uh, Rob Kennisons, I've actually done this shit in real life, you know, with sometimes with friends, sometimes with just even strangers. No, you know. I, I'm not afraid to fucking say what I feel, or I'm not afraid to troll people. I'm not afraid, you know, none of that. So I've been doing that, and I started a gaming channel. And, you know, I was watching El Prez a lot, and I didn't really want to do the gaming channel anymore. So I just started doing these videos because it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I was going to mention uh, that you did have, a, I think, two other channels. Don't you have a music channel, too? Yes, that that was my first channel that I had made. Probably, it was probably about when I was thirteen when I first started doing music. Yeah, um, and I know you've played some of your own original music in some of your videos. Um, but for people that don't know, yes. um, I, I mean it's pretty good. I, I'm, I, you know, I I listen to music, and that's the extent of Uncle Lou's uh, music knowledge. But it sounds like you know what you're doing. Uh, so, uh, thank tell you, people you. what got you into that. Um, do you think you're gonna, uh, do you think you're gonna be a DJ one day? Um, or is this something that, uh, you know, you just do as a hobby or give us the story on, on Jay Hutch music? Well, Uncle Lou, this is how it happened. I, uh, me and my buddy, we were about 12, 13, as I said, and we started recording, uh, just freestyles over beats on my grandma's old camera way back when we were young. And, uh, you know, it was power quality, terrible. And, uh, you know, I, we just got to the point to where we wanted to start making better quality music because we wanted, you know, if people were going to listen to it, we wanted people to have quality to listen to. So, you know, we, you know, we bought a couple cheap mics and shit. We started building up our quality and finally it got to the point where I was doing so good with it that, people wanted to come to me to get their songs mixed and mastered or come to me to record music and everything. So, I mean, I do make a little bit of money off of it. It's not just a hobby. It did start out as a hobby though, but now uh, I do make money by recording other people. And um, I, I don't think I'm going to ever become famous from it or, I mean, I may become a audio engineer in the future. I, I'm thinking about going to school for it, you know, become an audio engineer, get a certificate, all that. So we'll see how that works out. But for now, I'm just, you know, I'm just doing me. Well, it does sound good. Like I said, Uncle Lou doesn't know anything about the music business or music industry at all. But uh, I can tell when I hear something, whether it's, you know, good or not or, or done professionally. And like I said, it, do, it definitely sounds like you know what you're doing. And there's there's thousands of nine-year-olds on YouTube uh, 
putting out their own music with their iPad apps and things like that. It, you obviously have <laughs> professional equipment. You know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, uh, Uncle Lou supports yes. that. Thank you. Uh, so that's great. And the fact that you're making a little bit of money with it, uh, uh, you know, uh, God bless you, sir. Uh, you're a great American, dude, uh, which is good. Uh, so, but now let's, let, let's get into this now because – now, everyone knows that the TTC has beefs. They pop up from time to time. Usually they go away fairly quickly. Sometimes they drag on and last. Uh, but something interesting happened. Right. I guess it was a, uh, maybe a week, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, yeah, uh, but one of the only female TTC members, Michelle Lynn, I'm talking to you, <laughs> ma'am. Uh, now, I saw the videos uh, going back and forth between, I believe it was you and Rage and Rob. I, I saw those videos, and I, I totally got it when I saw the, the part of the video that, that later uh, caused you some trouble. I never thought anything about it at the time. It, it never struck me as, as any sort of a shot or insult at Michelle Lynn, and, and I, I was honestly kind of surprised that she took it that way. Um, because I just know from reading the comments section back and forth that you guys tend to be on the same page uh, with things. It's not like this was some lingering issue that boiled over uh, when you mentioned her in, in that video right, against right. Rage and Rob. So were you surprised or were you, were you shocked? Were you dumbfounded, too, uh, that she got <laughs> so angry uh, or, or, or whatever uh, about that video? I was I was so dumbfounded. I was so confused. I had no clue what was going on. She got offended. Uh, obviously, as you already said, no clue why she got offended. I just threw that in there because I was obviously just throwing out the highlights for that video. And um, as far as me and Rage and Rob going back and forth, we weren't really going back and forth. I was just, you know, hyping them up for the D-Town fight and all that shit. So, you know. I was I was really surprised. I, I don't get why it happened. And she made that video and then I ended up making a you know, a little response video. So that's how that went. And I mean I guess we kinda resolved it. I told her, you know, I was gonna put out a worse video. She didn't apologize. She apologized. So uh, you know, that all got resolved I guess and yeah, but yeah, I was definitely confused by that. I didn't understand yeah. it. Uh that came out of left field to me. I didn't see that I didn't see that coming uh at all, that's for sure. Uh, now, uh, yeah, we're cool what, now though. Okay. Uh, well, that's great news. Uh, now, uh, clear this up. Uh, yeah. Uh, now are you trolling or do you, or do you even realize when you, when you mimic, uh, El Presidor? I, I would have to say I know exactly what I'm doing when I do it. And I do it because I know there's people who are going to be like, Hey, why are you, imi you know, imitating El Presidor? And, you know, that's all part of making them dance, you know. It's it's that whole thing. It's just it's just fun to me, man. It's fun to see people because you'll tell them. You'll be like, hey, I'm pretty much imitating El Presidor. And even though you say that, they'll still cry about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're definitely a puppet master, sir. Uh, there's no doubt about that. You, you even put out a tutorial uh, earlier today. Uh, which was just amazing. <laughs> uh, it was groundbreaking too. And and what's funny is people will watch that tutorial video you did. That it, that uh, basically it was an infomercial uh, that you did. People will watch. Basically, that. yeah. Yeah, people will watch that, and then they still won't. They still won't get it on your next video, uh, which is even funnier. Makes it even better. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> now now uh, explain to to Uncle Lou and to all the viewers. Uh, your, your tennis fetish. Well, this little tennis thing, I guess it's not a fetish, man. My little brother, he started doing tennis. and Well, both my little brothers, uh, the oldest ones anyway. And, uh, you know, they were bringing their tennis rackets home and stuff. And, you know, I was like, I could probably fuck with some people with this. So I, I ended up just making a couple dumb videos. And honestly, people wanted to see more. So I made some more. And, uh, you know, that kind of took off from there. And then T. Kirk got involved, and then it went to juggling. Eagle Speed got involved. Now it's at, uh, what is it at now, ping pong? Ping pong. I ain't got a fucking ping pong table, uh, Eagle Speed. You're going to have to give me a break here. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, that was just amazing. I mean, the first ever tennis beef, 
uh, here in the TTC, Jay Hutch versus T. Kirk. If you guys haven't seen their tennis battles, uh, they're epic. If you can stay awake, uh, watch them. They're, they're amazing. <laughs> uh, like Hutch mentioned, he juggles in one of the videos. Uh, there's, there's even some underneath the legs and some behind the back shots. It's just unbelievable. Uh, and they do it in very, uh, uh, tight quarters, uh, as well, which really ups the difficulty level. I really don't think people appreciate the skill involved in playing tennis in a hallway. Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can't even take, you can't even really it take is. a full swing. I mean, it's not, it's not easy. People laugh and, and, and you know, and want to make jokes and things like that, but you don't see them doing it. So, uh, hats off. No, they're not the doing it. You know, they're amazing. Yeah, they can't do it, sir. They, oh, uh, yes. You know, they, they can't do it. Like you, and you mentioned West Coast Eagle with the ping pong video. Not sure if that's taking it to another level, uh, or taking it to a previous level. Uh, but nevertheless, he did play ping pong in his basement, uh, which further proved he the did. theory, uh, that yes, he does live in his mother's basement. That was obviously a basement and it was an unfinished <laughs> basement too. Hang up some drywall. Get, uh, get Frank Gambler over there. He'll hang up some drywall for you, and he'll charge for $4 a day. So, uh, oh, he'll be yeah, happy to Frank's got him. him. Yeah, Frank will hook him up. It's not without a problem. Uh, yep. Uh, now, on yeah. to the latest beef here. Now, uh, I'm not sure if this is something that's been ongoing or if this is something that just surfaced today. Uh, another thing I'm not sure of is how to pronounce this guy's name. Uh, but it's like Memfino or something like that. Uh, now, give us a little oh, background. I, I, I'm kind of changing it for him. I'm changing it for him. We're calling him uh, Menpino. Oh, I see what you did there. So yeah, what, what we're calling him Menpino. This? That's his new name. What facilitated this? Okay, well, this is this is how it happened. Uh, back when I was on my gaming channel, you know, hardcore every day, he was pretty much trolling me. He was, you know, he was trolling me, making me dance, whatever, on my gaming channel. You know, so he ended up blocking me or whatever. Well, when I made my blog channel, he uh, he added me. And he was like, oh, dude, I never knew you were a beast and all this shit. And you, you're so biblical and all this shit. So we were cool for a while. And then I think it was yesterday. It was yesterday, right? Fucking, um... He made this random video, pretty much like the Michelle Lynn thing, saying I put out some tweet about him saying that uh, he he was my puppet and I've been doing this all along and I've just been stringing him along. And I never released the tweet like that, but if he wants to believe I did, then that's fine too. Um, <laughs> uh, shit, yeah. But I, I don't know if he's just trolling me now or what, but even if he is, I'm going full out with it. Fuck it. Uh, and he's not American. Where is he from? No, no, he's he's overseas. He's he's kind of irrelevant to uh, our stature over here. Yeah, uh, but nevertheless, uh, a challenge has been issued, sir. Uh, my question to you, on behalf of everyone in the TTC and the UBC uh, and Uncle Lou fans around the world. Will you accept uh, Mimpino's challenge to a live one-on-one -on -one battle? Of course I will, Uncle Lou. Fuck Mimpino. He can get this motherfucking dick in his mouth because I know that's all he wants anyway. I got DMs to prove it, bitches. Uh, that's right. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. The first ever live UVC TTC battle taking place here on Uncle Lou News. Uh, now, this is just mind-bending and mesmerizing and earth-shattering and groundbreaking, too. Uh, now, we are in the process of lining this up right now. Uh, hopefully, if you're watching this on Sunday uh, during Uncle Lou News, hopefully the, uh, that clip is coming up uh, here in just a minute. Uh, but Mimpino has agreed to appear as well, so as long as we can get the logistics lined up, then it won't be a problem. Uh, like we mentioned, he's not an American. He lives overseas. I, I, don't, I think he lives – he might live in Australia because he's about – I think he's like nine hours, 12 hours behind us or something weird like that. Actually, he's ahead of <laughs> yeah, us. Yeah, something like nine that. behind, he's ahead. Uh, but anyway, so if we can get that lined up, then we'll have that for you guys. Uh, but anyway, Hutch, I really want to thank you for appearing uh, here. You're, the, you're my first live interview here on uh, Uncle Lou's TTC News. I really appreciate it. I, I can't think of a better guest to have uh, for my first guest than you, sir. Uh, you're a true beast. Uh, you're biblical. Uh, you have good juncture and all the other stuff that El Presidor says all the time. But um, <laughs> so anyway, thank you. I really appreciate it. I give you the I have good juncture, Uncle Lou. 
Whatever. I'll give you the last <laughs> word, sir. Uh, well, I appreciate uh, being here, man. I appreciate you, you know, sending me the invite to come on the Uncle Lou's new show. Um, this is my first interview as a beast member of the TTC Society myself. Um, you know, we'll see where it goes from here. Maybe I'll release a few troll videos for TTC once the season starts. That would be amazing. Uh, so uh, we're going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Hutch, why don't you go ahead and tell everybody to have a good morning. Hey. Have a good morning. <laughs>